Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is moisturize your heart and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 8 verses 6 and 15. Some fell on rock and as soon as it sprang up it withered away because it lacked moisture. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. As I stayed on the parable of the sower last week, a word jumped out at me that I haven't paid much attention to in the past. The word moisture. The scripture said one of the soils that the seed fell on lacked moisture and that it was this lack of moisture that caused for the seed to wither. What this means is that for a seed to yield a harvest, the soil must be adequately moisturized. For our words to come to pass and to yield, our hearts must be adequately moisturized. When something lacks moisture, that thing is hard and dry. So when I sat pondering on the meaning of this moisture and how it relates to our heart, my mind immediately traveled to Mark 6.52 and how the Bible says that the disciples did not understand a miracle because their hearts were hardened. If that is the heart condition that the Bible is speaking about in our anchor scripture, then I think in addition to other things that we do to make our heart conducive for the word, we must pray often that the Lord will soften our hearts and cause us to perceive accurately what he is doing. The Bible also refers to the word of God as water very often. So we can also soften our hearts with the moisture from the word of God, the written word of God. Verse 15 tells us a bit about the soil that will yield result. It says those who having heard the word with a noble and a good heart, and I think we can add with a moisturized heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. There is a lot to unpack in this scripture, but I want to sit with the word patience for a few more seconds. You cannot experience the harvest without patience. The Greek word for this patience translates to mean a remaining behind or patient endurance. There will often be the need to endure, to wait, to go through periods when nothing seems to happen. Imagine an actual seed. You see it, you prepare your soil, then you put it in the ground and it disappears. It goes under. It looks as though nothing is happening. It looks as though it is dead. Or at least nothing seems to be happening. But if you keep the soil moisturized, free from weeds, free from things that can choke the seed, there will be a sudden shoot after a couple of days. Patience is required if we will see a harvest. There are people listening to me today who think that their words were a lie because they haven't seen any shoot yet. Be patient. Stuff is happening away from the eyes and under the soil. Patience and endurance are a prerequisite for every harvest. Always think of the example of Jesus. His body was planted in the earth. And even though humankind was so desperate for redemption, that seed stayed buried for three days. Be patient. Has God spoken? Keep your heart moisturized. Get rid of cares and worries and distractions and wait in earnest expectation because the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.